Avery's aunt got us a puzzle for Christmas. Well, it was part of our Christmas gift and we started it last night. And I've been in and out of the house a couple times today, but every time I come home, I forget that we have it on the floor. Unfortunately, it's a little bit too big to go on our table. So we had to put it on the floor, just move the carpet aside. But it's really cute. It's actually of the New York skyline. It's in these pretty pastel colors. I feel like we've made pretty good progress so far for only one day. It's always such a weird feeling getting back into work and back into life after the Christmas holidays. On one hand, I feel like it went by really fast, like just the days and all the experiences flew by, but then I think about working and I think about the last time I worked and I'm like, I <laughs> like really need to work on getting back into that feeling, you know? Luckily this year with the way that things are in January 1st being on a Monday, this first week of the year is kind of slower. And so I feel like I can like ease myself into working again and getting back up to speed. So I took my first workout class of the year this morning, which felt really, really good. I thought I was actually gonna work out more over the holidays, but it just didn't end up working out that way, which is fine because I feel like we definitely indulged, but we also had like a lot of healthy moments in between, which was really nice. I also just think the holidays only come around once a year and it's one of those times where you just kind of have to lean into the food and lean into the drinking if you choose to do that. And whenever I do that for a few days, I always somehow end up being motivated to eat well again and have the drive to work out and stuff. So it's good to have, it's good to have both, I think. So yeah, we did Christmas in Canada, which was really great. Avery came with me for the first few days and then he flew back here, had a lot of quality time with my family, my siblings, and I got to see my best friend from high school and her kid, which is kind of like our tradition. Every year we, we just get breakfast. And um, now that she has a baby, the, he's not even a baby anymore. He's technically a toddler. He um, joins us too, which is great. So a couple days after Christmas, I flew back to New York and I actually brought my brother and his fiance with me to celebrate New Year's. Um, and then my dad and his girlfriend who live in the Netherlands also flew to New York to celebrate with us. So um, that's kind of how things worked out this year in terms of the holidays because my family doesn't celebrate, like my parents don't celebrate Christmas together. So we get to New York, we're all so excited. We've planned this itinerary for um, for the weekend, like booked breakfast places and dinner reservations. And we planned a couple of activities in between and like planned out a whole New Year's evening. And then my brother gets super sick, like deathly ill. Um, his fiance was like, I haven't seen him this sick ever in his life. And so he ended up missing everything except for dinner on the first. And then yesterday we just like hung out at our apartment the whole day. It was so sad and I felt so bad for him. So that was kind of a bummer. It was like definitely not what we were expecting, but we still tried to make the best of it. We still went to all the reservations that we had and uh, we ended up doing karaoke on New Year's Eve, which was so much fun. I haven't done karaoke in forever and I always forget how much fun it is. I told Avery, I was like, we really need to, we really need to do it more this year. But it was definitely a bummer that he wasn't able to celebrate with us and, and do all the things we planned, but we'll just have to do it again in the future, I guess. Yeah, and then everyone left yesterday. I cleaned the apartment for the first time in what felt like weeks. <laughs> it wasn't really weeks, but, um, it felt like it because we just hadn't been here. And then I did all the laundry. I just got groceries and stocked up for the week. I really wanted to kind of like get back into routine today. Today's kind of just an easy day. I have a call in 30 minutes and then I have, um, I have to film a sponsored video, which I was hoping to put in this vlog, but I actually think I'm just gonna have to film an extra video, which is probably good because I've been slacking on YouTube, but it is one of my intentions i will say for the new year's to just get back into a routine again especially once my program is over i feel like i'll have more um free time again the only downside of that is that i am actually gonna be away for work most of next week i'm flying on tuesday and then i'm working wednesday thursday friday um in milwaukee actually so maybe i'll take you guys to milwaukee but Every time I've done that, I feel like I don't end up vlogging very much. And it's it's always just kind of the same trip. It's a great trip for me. I love going there for work, but there's just not much that I end up doing. But I've actually never been there for three days. So maybe we'll end up 
maybe we'll end up doing something cool this time so we'll see i have to figure that out the rest of this week i'm going to be finishing up stuff for my program which is really exciting because i am this close to being done the only thing that i have to do still is two um zoom calls where they observe you as a coach one of those calls is my final exam for the program and then I need to finish up my coaching practice hours, which I'm actually really close to. I'm really close to 100 practice hours already, which is crazy. And then once I get my 100 hours done, I can get my diploma from the university and I can sign up to take the written exam, which is through a different organization. But the written exam, like once you pass the written exam, which is through the ICF, the International Coaching Federation, that's what gives you the credential. So it's not, like obviously the university program is important because without it, I can't get the credential, but with just the diploma, obviously I'm capable, but the credential is what really like certifies you as a professional. So um, I'm hoping to have that all done within the first quarter of the year. I just don't know. I just don't know like what the exam is gonna look like. I've heard that it's really hard and I wanna have enough time to prepare for it and Hopefully I can find some practice questions on the internet, watch some videos on it. Um, but I'm really excited about it and I'm so, like I'm, I'm really proud of myself for working so hard last year in the last four months of the year, like getting through those classes, um, like putting myself out there and, and working with people and just like getting practice under my belt and being able to get those hours done so quickly because as much as i love the program it's definitely been like a huge commitment of my time and my energy and i guess i'm just glad that i did that last year i don't know why i'm like separating this in my head but in my mind then this year will be for me to just get so much more practice really like build out what I want my business to look like build out some of my own personal frameworks and also just start like creating content around coaching and start you know talking about some of the things that i do in my life some of the toolkits and frameworks and things that i like build for clients um some of the books that i'm reading another really great thing about this program is it's just inspired me to read so much and like learn so much more because the more you read and the more you listen the more you pick up things that you do as a person that could be helpful for other people to know. It's funny because obviously I knew going into the program what coaching was about and who it's good for. So you just learn so much about development, both professionally and personally, but I didn't anticipate how much I would actually learn about myself and how, how it really like holds up this mirror for yourself and your own habits and your own thoughts. And um, it's really made me aware of the things that I do with my time like how i structure my days my weaknesses um and i'm just excited to share more of that and share some of the, the resources that i found to be helpful i like can't wait to do that like this is another i think i shared this with you guys a couple months ago and then i ended up reading other books on my kindle because i was traveling quite a bit in november and december but I just picked this up again. It's called The Icky Guy. It's the Japanese secret to a long and happy life. I don't know why this cover is so dirty, but I bought this book last year and I haven't finished it yet, but I dove back into it um, this morning. And one of the chapters, what are the chances that I'd like dive into this the morning that I'm about to vlog and I'm talking about like my intentions and things that I've learned about myself. But one of the chapters really um, confronted me about something that I couldn't really verbalize but know now that I do and I need to change it's um the chapter is about flow which in terms of this book this book is about finding your icky guy which is your reason for living or your purpose so when I use the word flow in this book in relation to finding your icky guy and your purpose the feeling of flow is the feeling of being fully immersed in whatever you're doing. So anyway, this chapter, without me giving the whole thing away, goes on to talk about multitasking and how we live in this world of multitasking and where being able to multitask and do multiple things at the same time is praised and is, is, is great and is smart, but it's actually not productive because all we're really doing is jumping from one task to the next task to the next task. We're basically doing four or five different things at the same time. And that's what makes us distracted. And relating that back to how I feel after a day of just being on my computer, 
I recognized that I could be way more focused and I could be way more better with like time blocking and really being diligent about scheduling certain things and not checking my email every 10, 15 minutes, you know, and, and getting out of this state of flow. And so um, I knew that this was one of those things that I wanted to work on, especially because time is so precious and having these days off I really want to like maximize my time and use it all wisely I just didn't know how to put that into words and I've just realized that I need to time block or maybe do like a what do they call that method I can't think of it right now but the method where you basically set a timer for 50 minutes and then you take a break for 10 minutes it's really gonna bug me that I don't know what that's called I'll link it down below anyway long story short I just hope to share more of these things going forward and share more of my own personal development and maybe you guys even want to share things that you're learning books that you're reading i feel like i'm so open to all of that right now and i really just want to learn as much as i can so i would love to um share that with you guys i feel like it's really more about intentions rather than resolutions it's so funny when i first started youtube i would make these goal videos like at the end of the year i would set so many goals for myself and now I'm like, I just want to, I just want to read more. <laughs> I just want to learn more. I just want to become a better person. I just want to be more productive. I guess I just want life to be easier and more efficient. And I think that with the right tools and the right um, setup, I guess I can, I can do that. So that's something that I am looking forward to getting better at this year. But yeah, I feel like I've been talking for a long time. So I... I'm actually gonna go run some errands. I need to go to Target. We ran out of sponges yesterday and so all of our dishes have just been sitting in the sink since then. So I'm gonna do that. But I also wanted to, um, if you guys have made it this far into the video, I wanted to um, share that I really wanna film a QA and a in January. I'll do a question box on Instagram, but I also just want you guys to have the opportunity to ask me um, whatever questions you may have in the comments. I guess you can always email them to me if you want it to be anonymous. But um, I'm hoping to film that by the end of the month. Yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions. You can leave them in the comments down below or send me an email or shoot it to me on Instagram. But I really feel like I haven't done one of those in so long and I would love to um, film one for the start of the year. I already went to Trader Joe's earlier this morning, so I got most of my groceries there and then I just had to pick up a couple random things um, at the other grocery store. So I just got these corn thins. I still love these. Eat like smoked salmon or tuna on them. Uh, sponges, obviously, because I have all these dishes that I need to do. I also got this bell pepper because I'm gonna make a stuffed pepper later this week. And then just some canned tuna. I also got this at Target just now. This is a nail and cuticle buffer. I used to have one, but I think I lost it or maybe threw it away. But my gel that I currently have on is like three weeks old. And I cut my nails, I filed them. And because of the jobs that I have coming up, they're gonna be doing my nails on set. So I figured that instead of getting them done, for a week and then having to get them done on set, I would just take the gel off at home myself, um, soak them and then, you know, just clean them up myself. And maybe take a little break from getting my nails done, honestly. Just been editing this vlog and I realized that it's already pretty long so I think I'm just gonna make dinner with you guys wind down for the night probably work on my puzzle a little bit more Avery's going to a Knicks game tonight so he's gonna be out um, and I don't have to get up super early tomorrow so I'm just gonna like edit and play with the puzzle and then edit and work on the puzzle um, probably until he gets home from the game so that's gonna be my night but I Figured I would show you guys what I'm having for dinner. I'm staying true to my menu. Um, I made a little menu for this week, even though it's a shorter week than normal. But tonight I'm gonna make teriyaki salmon with just some jasmine rice and side salad. This is the marinade that I'm using. It's from Primal Kitchen. I personally think that this is the best one. It's the cleanest one. It's not like 
it's clean considering it's a teriyaki sauce, if you know what I mean. But they have great dressings, great marinades. Um, they're a little more expensive, but I also find that you really don't need a lot, especially if you're letting it marinate all day. Um, and I just personally think it's worth it to buy the healthier stuff. So I'm doing that for the salmon and then I'm making my rice in my little rice cooker. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make double the portion so that I can have the same thing for lunch tomorrow. My battery died, but I have to show you guys something else before I make dinner. So you guys know that I'm from the Netherlands originally. I grew up there um, and then I moved to Canada and then obviously I've been in New York now for nine years. But my dad, since last year, lives in the Netherlands again. And so um, when they came to visit, they bought Avery some Dutch things back for him to try. So he already ate one of the, actually he already ate two of the things that they brought. They brought him Dutch licorice and um, ontbijtkoek, which translates into um, like a breakfast cake. And Avery's actually tried a couple of other Dutch things before because in Seattle they have a little Dutch store that I took him to. But they brought him back a very typical Dutch breakfast thing, which is these sprinkles. If you guys are not from Holland, you'll probably be like, what do you mean this is for breakfast? But we actually put this on bread and eat it in the morning. So I made him try two yesterday. This is the fruit one. And they're like little sweet fruit sprinkles. And then he also tried this one, which are like chocolate flakes. So funny because when I see these things, it's so nostalgic for me. Like I wouldn't choose to eat it now, but I almost want to eat it because <laughs> there's so many like feelings and memories attached to it. And then seeing Avery discover these things for the first time is just the best thing ever. Maybe the second best thing ever. I think the best thing ever is having him try to say Dutch things, which is also really funny. Maybe one day I'll do a video with him. This is never gonna happen, but uh, maybe one day I'll do a video with him having him practice saying like certain Dutch words and Dutch phrases. I think it would be really, really funny. But I digress. I'm gonna make dinner and then I will see you guys after. Okay, so two things. If you are not rinsing your rice already, start because it makes the biggest difference when it comes to just making the rice perfect every time. I know it's an extra step. I know it takes like five minutes, but it's so worth it. I never did it, never grew up washing my rice or rinsing my rice, but it truly does make such a difference. So that's number one. And then number two, when it comes to this marinade, it's actually the best in my opinion when you marinate it in the morning and then bake it at night. But these pieces were actually frozen. So I'm just gonna pour it over top and then cook it that way. But if you're gonna buy this and you wanna get like the bang for your buck, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, um, I would defrost them overnight, marinate them in the morning and then bake them like in the evening or afternoon, whenever. I'm so excited about this and this was honestly really quick and easy. I think also because the salmon is like pre-proportioned, just pop it in the oven and the rice in the rice cooker cooks itself. So this was super simple. I just added some greens on the side with this green goddess dressing that I've shown you guys before. This is the healthiest dressing ever and it's part of the reason why I love it. Also tastes really good and it goes with everything. That is gonna be it for this vlog. I am gonna end it off here. I hope you guys enjoyed this little catch-up vlog. I would love to hear some of your resolutions or intentions that you have for the new year. So if you wanna share, feel free to leave me a comment down below. Yeah, I would love to hear what you guys are planning on doing, what you maybe wanna work on, what you maybe wanna implement into your lives. I would love to hear about it. So just leave me a comment and don't forget to include any Q&A questions you might have for me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.